Today we're making a simple no need focaccia. Hi, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making a simple no need focaccia. This focaccia goes from starting to make it to table in less than four hours. Here are the ingredients you'll need for this recipe. Feel free to pause. I'll list the ingredients in the description below. We'll start with our yeast and our warm water into our bowl. Just give that a little swish with your hands so it starts to dissolve the yeast. Let that sit for a couple of minutes until it starts to get nice and bubbly. It's really important to use warm water when making bread, especially a bread like this one that doesn't take very long to make because that warmth really helps that yeast activate and helps the dough rise. You want your water to be just slightly over room temperature. You can see it's starting to bubble up and all the yeast has dissolved, so let's get our flour and salt in. Flour first, and then salt on top of the flour. We do it in this order so that the salt doesn't kill the yeast. If your yeast dies, you'll end up with a flat, hard bread. It won't have a nice chew to it and the flavor won't develop as nicely. I like to mix this with my hand. I find um, then you can really feel the texture of the dough and how it's coming together. Uh, but you can use a spoon or a dough whisk if you have one as well. And just mix it together until a shaggy, wet dough forms. This is what you want your dough to look like. We're going to leave it for about 20 minutes so all of that flour can absorb the water. You can see our dough has started to relax. Now because we're not kneading this bread, we need to give it gluten structure somehow, so we're going to give it a series of folds before we let it rest. So I start from the top of my bowl and fold down towards me and spin the bowl as I work. So just tuck your fingers in, pull that up, you can already see that gluten developing. Give it a twist, and you're gonna do the same thing, just until you get a somewhat formed ball of dough. So you'll wanna do probably two sets of folds around the whole thing. You can see it's already starting to look a little bit more like a normal dough. I've done two sets of four folds, so eight folds in total, and now we're going to let it rest for an hour and a half. We're going to want to prepare whatever we're baking our focaccia in. So I'm using this sort of deep sided, usually it's a cake tin, 34 by 24 centimeters. And we're just going to fill it with some olive oil. So just drizzle a fair amount of olive oil in the bottom. We'll leave a little bit for on top of the bread. Let's give that a swizzle. Right, let's get our oven preheated. We're going to get our oven preheated to 240 degrees centigrade or 475 degrees Fahrenheit. A really important step for this is to put a pan in the bottom of the oven, which will be filling with an inch of water once we put the bread in. So get that pan in there and preheating with the oven. Wow. Look how beautiful and bubbly our dough is. That's exactly what you want. We're just going to get this straight into the pan that we've just prepared. Very gently, you don't want to pop too many air bubbles at this point. It smells so good. I love the smell of fresh baking bread. Get a little bit of that oil on your fingers and just slowly start to spread out your dough. We're going to put a little bit more oil on top of this after, so don't worry. And if you give it time, it's going to take time for the oven to preheat anyway, it will stretch out, so don't worry. It will fill your pan. You just want to get those characteristic dimples in your focaccia. So as you're spreading it out, just use your fingertips and get those in there. We're gonna leave that for a few minutes just to spread out a little bit more before we top it with our salt. We're keeping our focaccia fairly simple today, just a sprinkling of salt, but you can really go wild and let your creativity fly free. I'm sure you've all seen on Instagram those beautiful focaccias with those gorgeous scenes of flowers on them, using different fruits, vegetables, whatever you'd like to use. Feel free to give that a go. Now that our oven's preheated, we're just going to make sure we've got those really good dimples in there. You can see how it's really nicely spread and filled the pan. And I'm 
going to just give it a little bit more olive oil. It doesn't need much, but just a little drizzle so that it doesn't dry out. And then some flaky sea salt on the top. You can use rosemary, you can put olives on it. It's really up to you. Lemon zest is really nice. So you'll want to fill that pan with about an inch of water. That's the steam you want. And let's get our focaccia in. You're gonna leave that for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you'll take your pan with water out of the oven. Let all of that steam come out and then close it back up and cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. That looks so amazing and it smells even better. I know the temptation is to dig in straight away. You need to let this rest for a good half an hour. salty on the outside and the texture on the inside is so soft and light. You've got beautiful air pockets from letting it have that rising time with the yeast. It's got a really nice spring back. You know it's really well cooked but it still has a beautiful texture in your mouth. Not too dry and that olive oil really gives it a beautiful flavor as well. I love using focaccia for so many different things. Um, if you've topped it with different toppings it's perfect on its own but I love it as a sandwich uh, with nice ham and cheese layered in the middle of it, or just perfect on the side of a salad, really. This is the perfect quick loaf, done in three and a half hours on the table. Thanks for watching Black Cat Kitchen. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. We'll see you down in the comments. See you later.